guys welcome back to my channel today i have a story time video and if you guys are curious of this makeup tutorial this eye makeup tutorial it's on my last video it's called pink champagne go check it out if you want to but anyways let's get started into story time so um i posted a video a few months ago of my cousin's truck that i did a story time video on but i actually lost the second footage of it so i'm just going to redo it and plus i would i have way better quality right now because on the last one i was filming on my iphone so let's get started so a few months ago my cousin um i had to open at four in the morning at my job and um my cousin calls me in the middle of the night and he's like yo i need to borrow your car and i'm like okay um yeah for sure dude like come over so he does and then um the reason why he took my car is because my car is newer and his truck is very old. Like it won't make it out of town at like for sure it's not gonna make it. It'll probably die when it hits the freeway. And so um I let him borrow my, my borrow my truck or let him borrow my car, I take his truck to work and he's just like, I'll be back around nine thirty or ten in the morning. And I'm like, Okay, I'll be off by then, just meet me at my job. And um I'm going to work and um I'm eventually, you know, I get off at, I get off at work and I lock, I like lock the truck and, um, the, like before I like go inside, I lock the truck and then when I'm trying to leave my job, cause he wasn't home or he wasn't back in town at the time or at the, at this point, he, the truck, like the truck key won't like unlock the truck and I'm like, crap. Okay. And there's like a little window, but he's like over six foot. So he can kind of like unlatch the hook. And my little itty bitty five foot arms can't do that because I'm only five foot. And so I was like, crap, okay. Um, my friend eventually, he helps me out and he unlatches the hook before he goes and work. So he's just like, you know, no problem. I was like, thank you, dude. Like for sure. So then I'm driving home. Um, was still in the truck. And my friend, my friend called me and she's like, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, uh, just got home. What's up? Like, I'm like, I had to open at work. And she goes, I had to work in a few hours too. Um, do you want to go shopping with me? And I was like, okay. And so we, um, I go, I'm still in the truck. I go to her house. We take her car and then we're going to the mall. We only go to Pink Max and Sephora. And so after that, like, um, she's like, okay, I have to go to work. So she's like going to drop me off back at, back at the, back at home with her, where the truck's at. And I told her, I was like, bro like I don't know where the key is at like I lost the key and she's like are you serious so I'm like I lost the key and so then she's like okay well you know what come with me to work and I'll let you take my car and you can go look for the key because I gotta go and I was like okay so she drives to work and she's like here here's my car keys go look for it she goes but don't lose my keys and I was like no for sure and then I'm like I call the like lost and found and I call the stores and like then none of them have seen them. I'm like looking and I looked in the parking lot, like they're 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 gone. The keys are gone. So I'm like crap. Okay. And then I was like, well maybe if I could just get like another like a copy of it, like a mold of it. And so and I called Dodge because he has a Dodge Ram. I called Dodge and I'm like, hey, can you guys make a copy of a key? And they're like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, so I was like, I'll call you guys back in a few minutes. Uh, I was like, I just got to get back to the truck and give you guys the VIN number. So then um, I go back to the truck. I give him the VIN number and I'm like, yeah, I'll take a, uh, like, it'll take like 20 minutes to make it. And I was like, okay. So um, I go to Dodge and then they're like, well, we need the owner and the pink slip present to, for me to give you the key. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like, I'm trying to play this off like as it never happened. And so they're like, no, we, like, we need the, like, the owner of the, of the truck here. And I'm like, but we're cousins, like, y'all can check our faces. Like, we look exactly the same. Well, not exactly the same, but we look pretty, pretty darn close to the same thing. And so, and then he's still not, um, he's still back, he's still not back in town. Um... He's still not back in town and I'm like okay well I call his um I call his girl and I'm like yo because they're back they're on their way back together in her car 
in my car. They took a separate car, sorry, because I forgot he took my car. And so I'm like, yo, I like, I can't, I can't find this key. And she's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. I was like, but you know what? I was like, you know what? Dodge said they can make another mold of it, like another copy. All we need to do is have him present. But you know, I was trying to play it off, but I obviously can if I need him present there. And so they're like, okay. So we go to Dodge. We leave her car there. We're taking my car. We go to Dodge. And then we're like, crap, we forgot the pink slip. So we had to go back to his, to my cousin's apartment to go get it. And then um, he was just like, he's like, okay, like, let's go to Dodge. So we go there. And it's like, seriously, it was like 35 bucks for like one key. One key that's not even like the automatic key. It's like the manual key because that truck's really old. Like, I don't even think they had those at the time. And so I'm like... I'm like really annoyed at this point and then I um uh so then we get the key we go back to my friend's house because that's where the truck is at and then I'm like okay bye guys and then they're like wait it's not working and I'm like are you serious it's not working they're like yeah the key is working for the door not to the ignition to start the truck and I'm like, you're lying. And they're like, no, I'm not. And I'm like, crap, okay. And my cousin's like, I gotta go to work, like, soon. So, like, take me back to my girl's car and I'll take her car to work. And you guys can, like, you know, figure your life out. And I'm like, okay. So I go back to my job because that's where we left the car at. Or well, her car at. And then, so he just takes it to work. And then um, her and I are, like, busting missions together. And, um, after this, like, after she leaves, we're like, okay, well, maybe we can call, like, a company that they can mold, like, a key, to form a key to go start the ignition. And we called, I forgot who we called, but they, they called, and they're like, no, sorry, we can't. And I'm like, bro. And, um, like, I'm, so she eventually is just like, um, after that, I go, I go, we go back, we're still at the, um, at our job and we call my friend and like I'm literally calling my um I'm call my friend and I'm like hey do you know anything about cars and he's like no like I'm sorry like I don't and I was like he goes but you know this guy Andy that we went because me and this guy that I called first he um not first but he I did eventually call him um he was like remember the guy Indy like his dad owns a body shop and I'm like oh cool and so he goes I have his number so I'll send it to you I'll text it to you I was like okay for sure so I call, I, I call him and like, seriously, I haven't talked to this kid in like three years. And I was like, hey, Andy, like, this is Elizabeth. Like, do you remember me? We went to church in high school together. And he's like, oh, yeah. But first, well, first he said, wait, wait a minute. Let me think about it. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, you had the Toyota that had the check engine light on. And I'm like, yeah, I did. And so he's just like, he goes, oh, what's up? Like, this is kind of random. And I was like, yo, um... Like, I know you know a lot about cars, and my cousin's truck, like, I lost the key to it, and I, I can't figure it out. And he's just like, oh, take it to my, my dad's shop, and we'll get it fixed. I'm like, okay, how are we going to get the truck there? And he's just like, oh, we get, like, a discount on towing and blah, blah, And I'm like, bro, I ain't about to spend $150 to tow this truck out to where your dad works at. And I kind of just, like, kind of, like, drop it at that point, and I'm like, okay, well... Um, I'm like, okay, well, maybe we could just figure something else out. And he was just like, or she was just like, okay, well, let me call around. Maybe we can get like a new ignition. And so I'm like, okay. So she calls pit boys and we actually get the last like ignition switch. And they're like, they're like, okay, you can just get it out and switch it out. But, like, but you need a certain tool to switch out the ignition. And I'm like, bro. A tool what tool are you talking about and so we end up going back to my house because my boyfriend and his dad like my boyfriend works on cars all the time and his dad um, he went to school to actually become a mechanic so he has a bunch of tools for cars as well so he's they're very knowledgeable on vehicles and um, he was just like oh like I'm sorry I don't have that certain type of tool like like this is the smallest one I have and I was like crap okay well, maybe we'll figure it out. But, like, and at this time, I'm, like, literally calling every dude I know 
that knows anything about cars like all like all of his friends pretty much because like we all have the same group of friends i'm like literally i call like i think like eight guys and i'm like yo you guys know anything about vehicles y'all know anything about vehicles because i need help and none of them well i, I think i think one of them picked up their phone but they were at work and i was like pretty much none of them picked up their phone i'm like bro like okay so um, but when we got the new ignition, mind you, it was only like 16 months, and they gave us two keys. Two keys, not one, but they gave us two. And so, um, my boyfriend's dad was just like, sometimes if you go to, like, O'Reilly's, like, they'll let you borrow the tools, like, for a certain amount of money, for like a, for like a day or something. And so I'm like, okay, cool. But we, so we go to O'Reilly's, and they don't have, they don't have the tool we need. And I'm like, bro, like, is this real life right now? And so... We're like, you know what? Screw it. Like, let's try to figure this out. And it's like almost dark at this point. And we're trying to figure it out. We don't have like any tools at all. So I go to my, cause like the, tr we go back, cause we're at the truck, which is at my friend's house. So I go knock on her door and I'm like asking her dad. I for, I, don't, I don't know exactly what her dad does, but I'm sure he, every man has a toolbox. So I'm like, I do you have some screwdrivers or anything like that. They're like, he's yeah, like, yeah, for sure. So he lets us borrow some. None of them are working. <laughs> And I find these pair of scissors in the truck and that kind of works and unscrews it. So I actually, I get the thing and I unscrew it, but there's like another part, the actual ignition switch that we cannot get out. And we're just like, bro. And you know what, mind you, I ruined my tweezers from this. I tried to unscrew it with some tweezers and I ruined my tweezers and they were a good pair of tweezers too. So I'm really burnt. <laughs> and then, um... We can't figure it out. We're just like, you know what? Let's like, you know what? Forget it. Like, you're tired. You've been working. You've been up since like, you had to be working at four in the morning. We've been driving all day. Like, we we drove from like two hours away. Like, I'm tired. And so we kind of forget about it. But she does like, she's like, I don't really want to tell my dad. Like, I'm in town. But you know what? This is our last resort, and I have to tell my dad. And she goes, I know my dad can figure it out. And because um, I was like, really? She goes, yeah. She goes. She just pretty much told me that, like, her dad grew up where if, like, something was fixed, like, the TV or, uh, like, your bed, like, you, you don't buy a new one, you fix it. Like, there's, like, no options, you just have to fix it. And so, and, like, your car is broken, you fix it. You don't take it to a mechanic, you fix it. You don't take it to a body shop, you fix it yourself. So, so I was like, okay. And then, um, eventually, they ended up, um, they went the next morning and they fixed the truck. And that was my story of my cousin's truck just because I lost his key. And I was really annoyed at that point. So, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time video. If you guys like these story time videos, let me know because I got plenty of stories. I always have stories up my sleeve. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.